Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about SQL Server Profiler. This SQL Server Profiler is very important if you are a SQL Server developer or a DBA. It comes in handy in a lot of situations. For example, if you are a SQL Server developer or DBA and one of your colleague, they, they might be a front-end developer and they, and they are not able to see the result in the database and they wanted to see what what's actually happening behind in the database if if their code if their front end code whether it is dotnet java or whatever is connected to database so to test that they may come to you and ask you to start the sql server profiler and see what's actually happening behind what's actually happening in the database so for that what you need to do is you need to go to tools here and go to SQL Server Profiler and you give the server name here whatever server you want to connect to you give it here and say connect okay let's say your colleagues they want to see the results in a table so that it will be useful for them in future okay so you want to see, you can save it to table you can either save it to file or you can either save it to table file or you can just leave it that way if you if you don't select anything it just shows you on the screen what's actually happening behind what's actually happening in the database okay so without saving anything let's run it okay because there's nothing happening in the database you don't see anything any other records coming in now let's go to the sql server and write a query okay um let's say i'm selecting top thousand rows from this table okay and now let's go to sql server profiler because i ran select top thousand from this table it is showing up in the sql server now let's say i add a filter here where brand id equal to none and say execute and now let's go check sql uh, sql server profiler okay now you see the query here so this is how you identify what's happening in the uh, sql server and once you finish using the sql server profiler you need to make sure that you stop it if you don't stop it it runs continuously in the background and it will definitely cause performance issues so to avoid that you definitely have to stop the trace stop the sql server profiler once you are done with it. and when someone creates this this is called trace okay this is called sql server profiler trace and after this is done and you want to send it to your friends or colleagues you can save this you can save this as a trace file you can save it as a template you can save it as xml file you can do whatever you want okay for now i'm just saving this as a trace file i'm saving it as test okay i saved it and i'm closing my sql server profiler now and this is the trace file and this is the trace file we just created you just double click on it and you open the entire trace which you just ran. I hope this is helpful.